Hello everyone, welcome to IOSC Tutorials. Um, this is Sheldon again. Today I'm going to talk about the unit test in Objective-C for a synchronous task. So as we all know, it's very easy to do the unit test for synchronous tasks, but it's kind of hard to do the asynchronous task unit test, especially in Objective-C. And uh, today I'm going to show you how to do this unit test. Um, so, for now I have created one um, sample demo project. In this project, I have this URL and I will parse some JSON data from um, this URL. And as we've seen, uh, as we are seeing here, in line 18 I'm using this API string as the URL. And um, in the line 31, I call, uh, I create one method called API call with URL string and inside of this method, I transfer the URL string to NSURL and then use the NSURL session to do the data task with URL and then I get the data. So um, in the line 35, I use type casting to cast the response into H and as HTTP URL response, in this case we can use this status code as the HTTP response um, property. And if also in the 30 uh, line 38, if we get data, we will parse the data uh, as a result into um, this array and uh, using NSJSON serialization. So um, basically, if we open this URL in a browser. We can get this uh, data, and if we copy paste this JSON data into online JSON viewer, we can see a clearer structure, which we can get one array of actors, which contains six actors. And the first guy is called Brad Pitt, and second one is called Tom Cruise. So we're gonna use this uh, name of the second uh, actor here, which is Tom Cruise. So if we get back to our uh, code and we can see we are updating our label in the screen. Uh, we are updating this text of this label using the second element of this actor array value for key name, which is Tom Cruise. Okay, so now we finish this, this task. And uh, as uh, first, I want to show you the unit test for the synchronous task. So in the main, thread I uh, call invoke one method called update string here and uh, I mean I will call this so there's no big issue our uh, test string is uh, made to be test in here okay so let's go to the unit test so at first, uh, I we have to import the header file of the view controller, and uh, we created one instance of this view controller called VC to test. So in the let's delete this. In the setup, uh, we instantiate this VC to test, and um, in the line thirty two, we create one test method called test main thread task. And inside of this task, we use this view controller to invoke the method called update string, and uh, and we create one result string as we as a property of the VC to test, which is uh, which is this property test string. So we have this uh, vc to test dot test string, and it we know it's test. So if we run this xct assert equal objects, the unit test should pass, and uh, it and it did pass. So if we change the test to test one, now we can see it will not pass. Okay, as we expect, it, it will not pass. 
Um, so let's try to do the similar work for the asynchronous task as well. So uh, let's make VC. Uh, so first we have to you know, uh, get the the property of this string first because we didn't have this property in our test file. So let's say in a, st in a string um, test URL string is equal to this thing. Um, second, let's use VC to test to invoke the method which is called uh, API call with API call with test URL string. And now here, uh, let's since we are expecting the result to be Tom Cruise, so we use this in a string result string. String is equal to um, so let's make sure it's completely same. So let's copy and paste here. Yes, so Tom Cruise. And uh, no, no, no. So this is the expected string, not the result string. So as we see, the result string should be the result string should be self dot label dot text, which is the uh, the content that we updated the label. So uh, let's say in a string result string equal to um, vc to test dot label dot text, uh, and if we run the same logic here, if it's a synchronous uh, task, this should pass, but. So we can see because we changed the uh, method test main thread task back to test. So the first method is passed, but the second one is not passed. Okay. So the reason is the moment you run the line uh, forty one, it will call invoke this method, and instantly it will go to the line forty two, and get the the value of this label.txt here, which is not updated yet because this task is executed in the background thread. So there is there will be a time gap. Um, this will not work. Um, so to solve this in one, um, I believe it's WWDC 2014 or 15, Apple introduced one um, um, property called XCT, XC test expectation, which is what we will use today to do the unit test for the asynchronous task. So if we create one property called XCT test expectation today, um, uh, uh, here, and uh, the thing is we will um, use this. First, we need to make this expectation is equal to self. So this is like initialization of this expectation. This is help, helping the tester to uh, to identify what is this expectation doing. So let's say parsing actors. Let's say parsing Tom Cruise in background thread. Okay, and uh, we need to set some point to make this expectation fulfill. This means uh, we set a flag 
of this expectation to make it uh, say, okay, I finished this task, and now you can do the test. Um, so this is like the, the flag of the task to be finished. And uh, after this flag and this expectation, we can have the check logic, which is self. Wait for expectation timeout. Uh, we can set some interval or just uh, like integer here for five seconds and uh, use the completion handler new. So this means we will wait for five seconds or if the expectation fulfilled, we will stop and to see the result if correct, if the result correct or not. So if we wait for five seconds, the expectation is not fulfilled, the test will fail. So the logic is, if we um, set the time here, the time is the, it's like the longest time that the system will wait for it. But uh, if there's no fulfill, we will not, uh, so the t test will fail. Okay, so the thing is uh, where, the key part is where to set this ex expectation fulfilled. Uh, so my first idea is to set a completion handler. So if we set a completion handler, uh, if the task is finished, we can use this expectation. But eventually this doesn't work, but I will show you why it's not working. Okay. So uh, back to this method, use API call. Let's put one more parameter called end completion handler okay the type is uh, we need to define a, a, a self block which is void and pool and as the name of this let's call it com complete or comp so uh, we can set here after the label it, it, after the label is updated, we can say comp true. So we are setting a flag here called completion true, means um, if this label is updated or if this label has finished updating, uh, we will use this, um, we will have a flag called true. So since we changed the method, we will need to change the method here as well. Um, strings API string completion handler we set a flag of uh, the parameter as finished or success or whatever so if finished let's say ns log finished okay and don't forget to update the method name in the dot h file since we're making this method to be public uh, as it will be testable in the unit test okay so we change the method here and we need to do the same work in a unit test as well so let's see test string with completion handle Don't block me. And still we use like finished. And we set the code expectation fulfill. So uh, let's compile. Use command and u. And uh, we can see after we add this expectation in the um, completion handler is still fail because we can see the message here the expected string is not so we just realize okay it seems we cannot test the label here because label is a weak value I mean weak property of this wheel controller so let's go do the test um, in a, another property so I create one property called the name string is public as well so for now let's update 
the name string instead of the label value. In this case, the name string will be strong instead of weak. And if we go back to the unit test, and uh, the other thing is we uh, shouldn't put these uh, three lines here. Let's change this first. Ah, so it's just name string. Okay, so the other thing is we shouldn't put these three lines here. Instead of this, we should put them in the completion handler here of this expectation. And if we run the unit test now, we can see the result. So it so first the unit test passed, which means which is a good sign, but let's make sure first it jumped into the line 46 first and then jump into the 53. So first test jump into line 46 and next jump to 53. So the test is really passed. It's not just we bypass this method like jumping from line 50 directly to 55. And which means our approach is good. Um, but actually for better way we can just get rid of this expectation thing. So we can directly skip this expectation thing from Apple. So let's delete everything here. And actually, because we know the parse process is done in the uh, finish, so let's just why why don't we just copy paste the calls into the finish and delete the whole thing. This seems a better way, right? As we see now, it jumps into this condition and pass the test, which means the unit test for a synchronous task is achieved using these two approaches. First, using uh, XC test expectations but uh, it seems we don't need that, so we can directly use completion handler to do this. All right, thanks for watching, and if you have any question, please leave comments, and I hope you enjoy this video. I'm sorry for my English again, and uh, uh, please leave any comments, and uh, I will improve for sure in the future. Thanks for watching.